Hello, welcome back to Hexen. I have been away for some time, and I've been, <laughs> I've been remembering where I left off this game, and I am shitting myself. Help! <laughs> I remember that the last thing I want to do right now is open this bloody door, and yet here I am, about to do exactly that. I press spacebar because it's a Doom game. It's not how you open doors in Hexen. Whoa! See that shit? Crystal vial is, yes, what I want. I'm trying to avoid... I'm trying to min-max the mana, because I suspect this is going to be of benefit to me. What did I set? Yes, very well. Was it Q? Probably Q. So I've got the... Where did it go? Did it die? Yes. Oh dear, I've got the items on the mouse wheel. Slightly inverted as to what you may expect. Whoops. But at least I can change them without fiddling around with keys. In the old days, Hexen, of course, was played with the keyboard exclusively. Well, everything was, to be fair. That was how games worked. What's happening? Um, and as a result, looking up and down was page up, page down. Um, what else do we have? The bracket keys will be what's selected between these items down here. I think the space would still be jump, maybe, if you're lucky. Um, you'd use alt to strafe, so the arrow keys would be walk forwards and backwards and turn, rather than um, what, you, what you might expect from a, a modern ow setup. Oh, apparently... Let's just talk about this. Uh, when you are draining their health and they put their shield up, suddenly you are not draining their health anymore, but you are shooting at them. <laughs> This is not what we're after at all. Right. This is the noisy bit over here. They're all in there. Let's not uh, worry about that just now. I think we're going to have to worry about that at any point in the future anyway. So, I couldn't do any of these sort of twitch shooter type maneuvers that I've been doing extremely well with so far, <laughs> obviously. Come on, finish your weird script. Uh, I couldn't... You couldn't turn fast, you had a fixed rate of turning, very much like a uh, console. It didn't, uh, it didn't, uh, it didn't. You know, oh no, space would have been open, so goodness knows what jump would have been. If I let this close, would it go down? So I was talking about scripts very recently, <coughs> excuse me, I was talking about scripts very recently, and um, how flexible the Hexen scripting engine was. Apparently, that side has a different script from the other side. Okie dokie there. Give me all your health. Come back. I need your lifeblood. I've had some good comments from a, 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 a fan, I suppose. I hope that is a correct word to say. I've never had someone uh, who is actually interested in my videos enough to comment on them enthusiastically before, but I very much appreciate it. Uh, shit, what is that noise? Oh, it's that one. Okay, good. Um, explaining various things to me, commenting on some of the comments I've made. Uh, apparently the... In, in Doom... Look at that bad texture, what's wrong with it? Um, the fact that you couldn't walk past uh, anything on a ground that was below you was a bug. Uh, the infinite actor height bug, and actors were the name for these particular units that stick around it. Ooh, hello. Stick around in between the, um, the moving things, basically. Anything that has a circular radius. Why don't you fight you? Yeah, perfect. Sweet. Uh, that's been fixed for Heretic, in fact, not just Hex. Which, if you care to, you can go and watch Rorax play on Rorax's channel. Not that I should really be advertising Rorax, because Rorax, as many viewers and I am, somebody knew it all this. Um, yeah, it's been good to get some, some feedback on the things that I've been saying, which is, obviously, I've only been able to say what I believe to be the case, so now I can say what someone else believes to be the case as well. Some sort of collaborative truth, and between us we will learn what is and is not, and we will venture forth into the wild blue yonder, armed with the knowledge of the difference between good and evil. This is perfect. Look at this. Every time this happens... Yeah, come on then. Come back. Okay. 
can actually heal up from this unit. Which is basically what I'm going to do. Uh, it's slightly cheap. Okay. Uh, now I need mana. Good. Uh, not enough. Not enough mana at all. 44 does not really help us. Okay. Guess we have to do this. <laughs> help. I mean, these units we can sort of kite around by letting them stop every so often, so that's sweet. And of course, I can't reflect back a uh, mason. Then passed. Uh, having the infinite height bug, which I will assume is a bug. Certainly made Doom uh, an interesting game because if you would try and jump off something with a lamp near it on the ground, you literally couldn't. Uh, and other such fun times. Yeah. But uh, in Hexen, of course, it, allow allows, it now allows us to have those magic bridges, which. You see, I pressed the wrong button because we've been this way, yes. I'll flip the other switch. Bear with me. Uh, it allows us to have those magic bridges. Which suspend in the air and are all sparkling twinkly. Obviously, I want to do this one because it's over here. Just think about it for five minutes and you'll understand the mechanics of the game. And that's actually changed that. No. Uh, that same person asked me. And I don't know the answer and I have commented first, but I will talk about it in this episode nevertheless. Sorry, what? Am I going insane? Tell me, people. Am I going insane? What? Did I not actually pull that switch? I bet I didn't actually pull that switch. Oh, heck. Uh, ask me whether Quake had as rich a scripting engine as Hexen does. And it's an interesting question, and I don't know the answer. But Quake basically didn't actually really use a large amount of scripting. It was a very straightforward game. But the interesting thing about Quake is it got rid of a control, and it was probably a very early example of this. How the heck do you move this? Do I have to pull the other switch? Maybe it's the other side. I should probably cut this, but we're just going to talk about Quake for a while. Um, Quake removed a control and introduced... At least, I assume it introduced. We want it to be moving that way, so we're going to go over here. Uh, the very concept of pressing things by walking into them. Because if you think about Quake versus um, Hexen here, the major difference is that Quake did away with the two-dimensional map-type engine and produced an engine where all things were three-dimensional. I have literally no idea what I'm doing. Let me out. Yes. I'm pulling these switches like a blue in the face. Uh, the, the map being fully three-dimensional meant that not only was mouse look um, basically imperative in order to make this work. But, like, it was, it actually functioned, functioned in a sensible way. Surely that switch moves that that way. I'll tell you what, I'm going to uh, float around a little bit, try and figure out how the hell to move that damn thing. Uh, and I will put an amateurish cut in here and figure it out and come back and let you know what I did. Alright, I got it. <laughs> Help. There's an Etin around the corner. Um, let's not waste mana. I did pick up some mana whilst in there. It was literally one of those two switches. I possibly failed to actually pull the switch. Which wouldn't surprise me. Something's going to go horribly worrying if I pick this up. Banishment device. I would like to banish things, that's for sure. If something's tele Ooh. teleported in. Somewhere. I think this was already here, so this was not what teleported in. We were talking about Quake. And it's scripting engine. Now, the ability to have fully 3D stuff allowed Quake to be the first thing uh, really to make good use of the fact that then things could stick out of walls. Stairs have risen on the seven portals. Very, very strong. Appreciate that. Uh, and, and allowing things to stick out of walls meant that you had things that you could bump into in order to press them. And if you recall Quake, I assume you played it. Um, you remember that that's exactly what it would do. You would, there would be... Uh, kind of a, Okay. There would be buttons that you push by just walking into them and they would slide and be pushed and you know everyone would go on their merry way uh, with a pushing of a button in their past. So 
that was so new that I think what they were possibly trying to do, even if they didn't know it, if you see what I mean. I mean, I'm, what I'm trying to get at is they may have had a scripting engine that they could have made strong use of, but they chose not to. Oh, I pulled this one. Um, because there was a lot of Quake that was just fight and, you know, fight and run. That being said, Quake is almost a spiritual successor to Doom, is it not? A door opened on the Guardian of Ice. Uh, I, I thought, of, thought of it as a spiritual successor to Doom. This is the end of the uh, level, actually, so we've basically done everything we need to. I believe the door that opens gets us to a secret level, so we'll see what happens. Um, oh god, we're so low on mana here. I was hoping to have found some. Oh, I wonder if the, um... I wonder if this gives us full mana. It's Mystic Urn here. I, I, I've gone quiet because I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do with myself. Uh, we'll hit these, I think. If we possibly can. I was hoping that that Afric would have hit that Etin, but it didn't happen. Um, yeah, I found that Quake was very much a spiritual successor to Doom, if not a literal successor to Doom, because it had the same sorts of uh, enemies. It had the same Cthulhu-esque. I mean, Doom was um, Hellmouth-based and Quake was Cthulhu-based, but... Ooh, mana. Yes, please. I'll do. Um, the, the, the difference is cosmetic between the two, I think. And Doom was not a very scripty sort of game. Hexen is a more... I don't know, it seems like there's this difference between fantasy and sci-fi. Wherein you kind of expect fantasy to have some some amount of, of intelligence to it. And I don't mean to disparage Doom. Uh, it's not disparal, the enemy at the end of Hexen, heretic, but it is disparage. Um, doom, per se, necessarily. Per se, of course, means in and of itself, which is not really appropriate in that situation, but we say it anyway because we've somewhat corrupted the meaning of it strictly to mean what we intend it to mean. Uh, it's... Mm, oh, is that what we want? Yes. Because of that, it seems like Heretic and Hexen themselves, the originals, seem to have more intricacy and less sort of mindless run around shoot things than Doom. You know, which is probably fair enough to say. Uh, Doom, I guess it, you, you can't really say that it was shamefully being not very cerebral. Do you see what I mean? Uh, oh shit! This cat literally made me jump. I guess we follow this. And hope for the best here. Um, whereas Heretic, although not particularly cerebral in and of itself, uh, it certainly at least made you work a little bit more for your sucker. You know, there, there were... The enemies seem to have slightly more intelligence to them. Not, not in the AI sense, but in the design sense. Uh, I mean, I could pull that go up here and trigger something, no doubt. Oh, we did not trigger something. We've got full mana. We pull this and run. Holy crap. I'm glad I got out of the way there. Do you see that poison dart try to get me? Trap. If I get out here. That is a very clever script. Oh, shit. And these are shooting randomly as well. At least it seems like they are. We should use one of these because we have many of them. Uh, what was I saying? The enemies in Heretic seemed, if not, you know, smarter in in the AI sense. They at least seemed like they had a slight smart design. Oh shit! Holy crap! What the fuck? Can we do anything here? I don't know. We can hope for the fucking best. That's for sure. Yes, we can use all that. Uh, I am sorry for shouting so much. We'll use these as well. Oh my goodness. I'm just going to keep burning through my uh, glass files there, crystal files, until I'm not dead. I think this is a good use of them. We have 25. We managed to make it to 25 crystal vials. Even though... Well, that scared the shit out of me. Um, 
even though this has been a very difficult run so far. I mean, this is probably what we should have done, just to try and get rid of some of these, at least. Um, <laughs> like, we've, we've put a lot of effort into this and come out with 25 crystal vials, and we had to use one, you know, in order to pick them up on the previous floor, so... I don't feel too badly about having burned through them quite a lot. We've still got 16 left, believe it or not. And I can drain this Joker's health. And pick up some more HP here. Uh, mana here. So, I think now what we do is we cross over to the other side. Not in the, um... Not in the Stranger Things way, not in the, the, the Cthulhu-esque sort of way. Just in the literally go down there and come up here, sort of way. Let me go on to this side. Oh, that hurt. Sort of way. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about because I went through there and shot myself. That's right. Heretic Hexen. Obviously, Hexen is a much more cerebral game than Doom, literally because of the fact that it's it's obviously got these uh, these puzzles, these scripts, these interlocking intricacies. But, uh, um, in a game like Doom, you just use them to see. I'm going to use this because we are pretty safe against these monsters for now. I can find the bastards. Here's one here. So we could do some damage to them and sort of coax them onto our area. That'd be good. Save some mana for the end of the seven vaults. Whereas Doom being very much fire and survive sort of game, I think that Quake um, follows that spiritually. You're just you're just a marine who's trapped in a, a bad space, fighting to not die against Cthulhu's legions. Right? It doesn't have the cerebral quality of um, of games like Hexen and Heresy, which it doesn't need. You know, it's not to say that's a bad thing. Merely to suggest that there is a spiritual difference between the sci-fi and the fantasy first-person games that, that it produced, and that is a, a fairly simple division between them here. So this is another one of those scripted things, although honestly, most of the scripting in this particular area is in the, um, the speed of the, the, the crushes. It doesn't take much to just turn all these things on, having set them up already, but it uses a lot more memory, I believe, than Doom ever did. Literally because um, there's so much happening on the on the in the game at once. Good, got it. Managed to beat up an afrit with my mace, which certainly helps. I thought I was stuck on something, which is why I turned around there. So not my finest moment. I'm honestly just trying to kill all these so they don't surprise me later. Having full mana, I, I definitely. Miss oh shit! I, I, this fucking game makes me jump all the time. Uh, I, I definitely didn't min max that mana properly. I uh, I acknowledge that. There's blood on that. Do you see that? I think that's an enhancement of the OpenGL version of the game. To be honest, I can't imagine that you would have got blood like that on the original game. You wouldn't have got. A I accidentally stepped on it. That is bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, man. Let's do all this again. This was fun last time. We enjoyed ourselves. Oh, jeez. Oh, Man. How did I do it? I might have to cut and come back. I'll see you in a minute. Alright, I think I've cleared out the uh, majority of this area. I didn't bother using my mace this time because there was more than enough blue mana around to make up for the use of it. And this is the goal of this area. And I'm not going to make the mistake of assuming that because that's slow, that's slow. So press this button. I believe this button opens the door on the seven portals. Or at least... Oh no, it just those in there, right. So we have to move on a little bit. Uh, and get into the middle of there. I think I'll do that in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will continue my discussion on the cerebral nature of Quake in the next one, and once I've beaten the crap out of these ettings, uh, I will see you- ah, crap! Then, thanks for watching.